Hi folks, today we're going to be soldering copper wire, that is joining or making a join in copper wire with lead, solder. Uh, most solders today are a percentage of lead or soft metals. Uh, this is the most conductive way to make a splice in wire. Uh, crimp connectors are adequate for some low amperage draw conditions but uh, we're working on a a boat and in the marine environment the better connection you can make the less chance you'll have to walk home and it's hard to walk home on a boat anyway I've got the wire pre-stripped let me show you a little trick on this strip in this light wire you take a razor knife Get the wire on a solid surface. Place the knife on the insulation and gently roll the wire back and forth a little bit. And you can tell what you're doing here. And it will cut that insulation. Once the insulation is cut, you can take a pair of pliers of almost any type, pull the insulation right off of it. And doing it in your hands, you can do it like this. I've got a lot of cuts in my thumb, so you shouldn't. So anyway, we're going to take our wire. No magic here. Two strip wires. We're going to twist them together. Twist them as tightly as we can with our hands. I've already got one joint made up there, and again, it's no biggie. All right, we've got the wire twisted together. Now I'm going to take just some, just some plumber's flux. Uh, this happens to be Laco sweating flux. Uh, brand isn't important. Just, this is what plumbers use on copper piping. We're going to take that wire and we're going to just immerse it in that paste and get a little bit on our wire. Not a lot to that either. And I've got a pencil torch here, just a little torch. I picked up at one of the local hardware stores. And the reason I'm using this is it's just easier to control the smaller flame. You could use a bigger torch, but you're going to be melting insulation off wire and all sorts of things. So, we're going to fire this thing up. And I've got the solder here. And the point is to heat up the wire and melt the solder with the copper on the wire. Oh, malfunction. These little torches are a lot more temperamental than the big ones anyway. Alright, I got this thing going now. Like I was saying, the point is to heat up the wire and let the wire melt the solder. I'm not going to try and melt it with the torch necessarily. There we are. That's about all there is to it. Let it cool off and you can handle it. Alright, to top off a little soldered wire project, I'm going to put some heat shrink tubing on it. I'm just a big fan of heat shrink tubing. Can't tell you why necessarily, I just like it. Alright, to top off our soldered wire project, 
we're going to use some heat shrink tubing to insulate the wiring. Heat shrink tubing is available in sizes, colors. You just got to get the right size for your application. So do a little bit of homework. It's just a little tubing that slides down over the wiring. And a little bit of heat from the torch. It'll draw right up around it. Beats the heck out of using electrical tape, trust me. Let me try to get in tighter on that so you can actually see the shrinking take place. Don't take a lot of heat. See how it just pulls up tight on the wire? All it takes is a little heat. Kind of work it around here and there. And I do tape over top of it just to lock it down good because I believe in a lot of redundancy and marine electric. So there it is folks, easy to do and 100% solid. Alright, here's a little close up of this soldering process. We're gonna, we've already got this fluxed, we're heating it up, and again, get the wire hot enough to melt the solder. And there you have it, bonded, a virtually forever connection. All right, we're going to visit heat shrink tubing. This is heat shrink tubing. Thin wall, rubbery plastic tubing. We've got this connection soldered, and I want to insulate it in a way that it'll last a long, long time. Slip the heat shrink down over the joint. And this is just for an example. We take our little pencil torch and we apply the heat and try to get the heat dispersed evenly around it so it draws up on all sides. As you can see it's pulling down tight. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the end of it here just so y'all can watch it pull up. See it shrink down and it gets down really good on your joint there. And then you can top it with tape or leave it as is. But that will insulate it from shorting out on anything else. Great stuff. Easy to use. Get it virtually anywhere. I recommend it.